हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास इन एर्लियर क्लासेस ऑफ वेक्टर ऑलजिब्रा वी लर्न द डेफिनेशन ऑफ क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट एंड वी डिस्कस टेन फॉर्मुलाज रिलेटेड टू क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वेक्टर्स। इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू डेराइव अनदर टू प्रॉपर्टीज फ्रॉम क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वेक्टर्स वट आर दोस टू प्रॉपर्टीज फॉर एनी स्केलर एम एम ए बार क्रॉस बी बार इक्वल टू एम टाइम्स ऑफ ए बार क्रॉस बी बार विच इज सेम एज a bar cross m b bar and second one is cross product is distributive over vector addition i am going to prove these two results in this class they are little difficult to explain i'll try my best so that you can understand them easily before going to start this video please drop a like for this video without much delay let's begin the class This is eleventh property. If a bar comma b bar are any two vectors and m is a scalar, scalar means it's a constant. It may be negative, positive, or it may be zero also. Then m a bar cross b bar is m times of a bar cross b bar. A bar cross m b bar is also m times of a bar cross b bar. Let a bar comma b bar are any two vectors. M is a scalar. M is a scalar means M may be positive, M may be negative, M may be zero. Let M is greater than zero. I consider M is positive. Throughout this proof, whenever you see M, you consider M as positive. Okay. I prove this result in three cases. Case one when M is positive. Case two when M is negative. Case three when M equal to zero. Case one. What I am trying to prove. M a bar cross b bar is m times of a bar cross b bar. So first I'll consider m a bar cross b bar. Here what is m? M is positive. Okay. M a bar cross b bar. From the definition of cross product of vectors, you know what is a bar cross b bar. What is a bar cross b bar? Magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar into sin theta into n cap. As per that definition, what is m a bar cross b bar? That is magnitude of m a bar, magnitude of b bar into sin theta. You observe here, a bar comma b bar are any two vectors, and theta is angle between them. Such that a bar, b bar, n cap forms a right hand system of vectors. M a bar cross b bar can be written as magnitude of M a bar, magnitude of b bar into sine theta. What is theta? Theta is angle between the vectors M a bar comma b bar. M a bar here M is positive. If M is positive, what is the direction of M a bar? If M is positive, a bar M a bar will be in the same direction. So the direction of a bar and the direction of M a bar both will be same. If theta is angle between a bar comma b bar. As a bar m a bar in the same direction in this case, angle between m a bar comma b bar is also theta. Okay, theta into n cap. Here, what you need to know, m a bar b bar n cap forms a right hand system of vectors. It means what? You place a screw here and rotate in the sense of m a bar to b bar. Rotate in the sense of m a bar to b bar. The screw moves along the direction of n cap. Then only we say that m a bar b bar n cap forms a right hand system of vectors. Now you see magnitude of m a bar. This formula we already learned in earlier classes. Magnitude of m a bar formula is what? Modulus of m into modulus of a bar into modulus of b bar into sine theta into n cap. As m is positive, modulus of m is m only. Okay, modulus of m is m into magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar into sine theta into n cap. You learn the definition of a bar cross b bar. Now, what is the definition of a bar cross b bar? Magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar into sine theta into n cap. Whatever is there here, that is a bar cross b bar. So m times of a bar cross b bar. Case one is very easy. I proved that when m is positive, m a bar cross b bar is m times of a bar cross b bar. I am calculating minus m a bar cross b bar. Here, throughout this proof, I am considering m is positive. If m is positive, minus m is negative. What I am trying to prove here, minus m a bar cross b bar can be written as minus m into a bar cross b bar. You do not confuse. At the end, you will get more clarity. After completion of second case, I will give more clarity. 
as per the definition of a bar cross b bar how we can write this we can write this as magnitude of minus m a bar into magnitude of b bar into sine of angle between minus m a bar comma b bar angle between minus m a bar comma b bar this is the direction of m a bar now what is the direction of minus m a bar the direction of minus m a bar is exactly opposite direction of m a bar you observe the direction of minus m a bar this is the direction of minus m a bar now my question is what is theta here theta is angle between minus m a bar comma b bar what is the angle between minus m a bar comma b bar you observe this is the angle between minus m a bar comma b bar as this angle is theta you observe what is this angle this angle can be taken as 180 minus theta so angle between minus m a bar comma b bar is 180 minus theta 180 degrees minus theta into listen this carefully i need to write a unit vector here such that yeah, minus m a bar comma b bar and that vector forms a right hand system of vectors you have to listen this very carefully you place a screw at this point rotate in the sense of minus m a bar to b bar rotate in the sense of minus m a bar to b bar this is n cap now if the screw moves along the n cap then we say that minus m a bar b bar n cap forms a right hand system of vectors but when you place a screw and rotate in the sense of minus m a bar to b bar then the screw moves downward direction then the screw moves downward direction please try to understand if this is n cap this will be minus n cap so what i am trying to say when i rotate the screw in the sense of minus ma bar to b bar the screw moves downward direction that means the screw moves along the direction of minus n cap it tells you that minus ma bar b bar minus n cap forms a right hand system of vectors because when i rotate the screw in the sense of minus m a bar to b bar the screw is moving along this vector direction that's why minus m a bar b bar minus n cap forms a right hand system of vectors as per the definition i need to write a unit vector here such that minus m a bar b bar that vector forms a right hand system of vectors what is that that is nothing but minus n cap I hope you understand this. This is a little tough to understand. You take a figure, you take a three-dimensional figure and you check it when you rotate the screw in the sense of A bar to B bar, how the screw is moving. When you rotate in the sense of minus M A bar to B bar, how the screw is moving. Like that, you check little bit of research you do. Then you can understand this very easily. Magnitude of M A bar formula, you know. As per that formula, magnitude of minus M A bar can be written as modulus of minus M into modulus of A bar. Modulus of A bar into what are remaining here? Modulus of B bar into sin 180 minus theta 180 degrees is there means sin remains sin only 180 minus theta lies in second quadrant in second quadrant sin is positive so sin 180 minus theta is sin theta into minus n cap here it is very clear that minus m is negative okay suppose somewhere you have modulus of minus 3 what you will write modulus of minus 3 is 3 only na? so here modulus of minus m is m only m into magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar into sin theta into here this minus is there now that minus i can write here minus n cap that equal to minus m into whatever is there this one this is a bar cross b bar minus m times of a bar cross b bar so minus m a bar cross b bar is minus m times of a bar cross b bar here i want to conclude what is the difference between first case and second case in first case we came to know that i am giving an example whenever you saw something like this 3 a bar cross b bar 3 a bar cross b bar you see 3 is positive here 3 a bar cross b bar can be written as 3 times of a bar cross b bar from this second case what you learn minus 3 a bar cross b bar in case while doing the problems you saw like this minus 3 a bar cross b bar then this can be written as minus 3 times of a bar cross b bar i hope you understand the difference between case 1 and case 2 as i said i'll do this in three cases case 3 in case 3 i'll take m equal to 0 i am trying to prove this result okay here if m is 0 what this will become 0 into a bar cross b bar equal to 0 times of a bar cross b bar i want to prove this 0 into a bar is what what is the magnitude of 0 into a bar magnitude of 0 into a bar is 0 so we can say that 0 into a bar is a 0 vector 
सो जीरो इंटू ए बार इज जीरो बार जीरो बार क्रॉस बी बार इक्वल टू वॉट अबाउट मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ दिस वेक्टर वेन आई कैलकुलेट मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ दिस वेक्टर दिस वेक्टर मैग्निट्यूड इज जीरो दिस इज ऑल्सो जीरो वेक्टर सो आई राइट जीरो बार इ Zero bar cross b bar is what? In the definition of cross product of vector, we discussed this. Zero bar cross b bar is defined as zero bar. So this is zero bar. Zero bar equal to zero bar. What you came to know that when m equal to zero, LHS is same as RHS. So this result holds good when m equal to zero. So in these three cases, what I proved? I proved this. M a bar. Cross b bar can be written as m times of a bar cross b bar. I proved this result in three cases: when m is positive, when m is negative, when m equal to zero. Similarly, you can prove that a bar cross m b bar is m times of a bar cross b bar. This result we use very frequently while doing exercise problems in cross product. This is twelfth result for any three vectors a bar comma b bar comma c bar. A bar cross b bar plus c bar is a bar cross b bar plus a bar cross c bar. Actually, this is known as distributive law in cross product over vector addition. We are in cross product. After cross product, we will learn about scalar triple product. But I am going to use one result from scalar triple product. Okay, let's see proof of this result. I'll consider two vectors like this. You observe here. I consider a vector r bar like this. A bar cross b bar plus c bar minus of a bar cross b bar minus of a bar cross c bar. How I consider this from this only? You see, a bar cross b bar plus c bar. Same thing. This a bar cross b bar is there. Now I take into the left hand side. Minus of a bar cross b bar. This a bar cross c bar is there. Now that also I take into the left hand side. Minus of a bar cross c bar. I take in like this. At the end, I'll try to prove that r bar is zero bar. If r bar is zero bar, from that I can easily say that this result holds good. That is the basic idea. So I consider a vector r bar like this. Now I will take one more vector that is d bar. I consider d bar as a non-zero arbitrary vector. Non-zero means magnitude of d bar is not zero, and d bar is arbitrary vector. Randomly I can pick any vector. What is the relation between r bar and d bar means I do not know. Just d bar is some arbitrary vector, and I know that its magnitude is not zero because d bar is non-zero vector. Now what I will do? I will do the dot product of d bar and r bar. d bar dot r bar. I will calculate d bar dot r bar. d bar dot r bar. This we consider as r bar, na? I written r bar. We already proved that dot product is distributive over vector addition. So I'll use that result here. D bar dot this vector can be written as D bar dot this vector minus D bar dot this vector minus D bar dot this vector. See D bar dot this vector minus D bar dot this vector minus D bar dot this vector. As I said in the beginning, I'll use one property from scalar triple product. In scalar triple product, dot and cross can be interchanged. In scalar triple product, dot and cross can be interchanged. That is the property I am going to use here. In this, d bar dot a bar cross b bar plus c bar. In this here dot here cross is there, na? We will learn this property in scalar triple product. What is that property? Dot and cross can be interchanged. So this can be written as this can be written as d bar cross a bar dot. You observe cross and dot are interchanged. D bar cross a bar dot b bar plus c bar. This is actually this is scalar triple product. In this dot and cross are interchanged. Minus. You observe here. This is a scalar triple product. As per that property, dot and cross can be interchanged. So this can be written as d bar cross a bar dot b bar. You observe this dot and cross are interchanged. Minus here again. This is scalar triple product. Again we can interchange dot and cross. So this can be written as d bar cross a bar dot c bar. I hope you understand. You observe this one. This is like a bar dot b bar plus c bar. 
a bar dot b bar plus c bar i am using again dot product is distributed to over vector addition if you suppose this is one vector a bar a bar dot b bar plus c bar can be written as a bar dot b bar plus a bar dot c bar so this can be written as d bar cross a bar dot b bar plus d bar cross a bar dot c bar this is as usual minus d bar cross a bar dot b bar minus d bar cross a bar dot c bar what is this d bar cross a bar dot b bar this is dot product of these two vectors it is a scalar you observe here d bar cross a bar dot b bar dot product of these two vectors it is a scalar as these two are having opposite sign they will get cancelled similarly d bar cross a bar dot c bar this is a scalar d bar cross a bar dot c bar this is a scalar both are having opposite sign so they will get cancelled so what you will get you will get zero what you got here so finally what you got d bar dot r bar is zero dot product of these two vectors is zero okay i got that d bar dot r bar is zero okay if if d bar dot r bar is zero then what are the possible cases if any one of the vector is zero vector then the dot product is zero that is one possible case second case is d bar r bar are perpendicular then also the dot product is zero okay so here is it d bar is there any chance that d bar is a zero vector you see in the beginning only i considered i consider that d bar is a non zero vector there is no chance that magnitude of d bar will be zero so here it is very clear that d bar is non zero vector so dot product is zero means only possible case is r bar is zero vector only possible case is r bar is zero vector as d bar is non zero vector if r bar is zero vector then there is a chance that their dot product is zero what is the another case if these two vectors are perpendicular then also their dot product is zero here i chosen d bar as any arbitrary vector it is not compulsory that d bar r bar are perpendicular it's not compulsory d bar is any arbitrary vector it may be perpendicular may not be perpendicular but we i am not sure that they are perpendicular or not because d bar is some arbitrary vector so only possible chance is that r bar is a zero vector do not confuse at this point this proof you can get in rd sharma class 12 vector algebra book so what i am trying to say here as d bar is a non zero vector and d bar is an arbitrary vector so only possible case is r bar is a zero vector what is r bar you observe this is r bar na we taken this as r bar i'll write that see this is r bar what i got this r bar is zero vector i got like this now what i'll do these two terms i'll take it to the right hand side then what you will get you will get that a bar cross b bar plus c bar equal to you take this you take these two terms to other side what you will get equal to a bar cross b bar plus a bar cross c bar so i got that a bar cross b bar plus c bar can be written as a bar cross b bar plus a bar cross c bar so i proved that cross product is distributive over vector addition i hope you understand this class if you like this video please drop a like for this video and share this video with your friends in case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now it's free thanks for watching take care bye bye